Good afternoon, this is Pastor David Charlton. I wanna welcome you back this week and say thank you to everyone who watched yesterday or who attended worship when we focused on Revelation chapter four. This Sunday, we're going to be reading Revelation chapter five, verses one through 13. And this is how it goes. And I saw in the right hand of him who sat on the throne, a scroll written inside and on the back, sealed with seven seals. Then I saw a strong angel proclaiming with a loud voice, who is worthy to open the scroll and to loose its seals? And no one in heaven or on the earth or under the earth was able to open the scroll or to look at it. So I wept much because no one was found worthy to open and read the scroll or to look at it. But one of the elders said to me, do not weep. Behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David has prevailed to open the scroll and to loose its seven seals. And I looked and behold, in the midst of the throne and, and of the four living creatures, and in the midst of the elders stood a lamb, as though it had been slain, having seven horns and seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of God, sent out into all the earth. Then he came and took the scroll out of the right hand of him who sat on the throne. Now, when he had taken the scroll, the four living creatures and the 24 elders fell down before the lamb, each having a harp and golden bowls full of incense, which are the prayers of the saints. And they sang a new song saying, you are worthy to take the scroll and to open its seals. For you were slain and have redeemed us to God by your blood out of every tribe and tongue and people and nation and have made us kings and priests to our God, and we shall reign on earth. Then I looked and heard the voice of many angels around the throne, living creatures and the el around the throne, the living creatures and the elders. And the number of them was 10,000 times 10,000 and, th and thousands of thousands, saying with a loud voice, worthy is the lamb who was slain, to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessing. And every creature which is in heaven and on earth and under the earth and such as are in the sea and all of and all that are in them, I heard saying, blessing and honor and glory and power be to him who sits on the throne and to the lamb forever and ever. That's verses one. 13. Now, as we uh, talked about yesterday, these chapters of Revelation are really very familiar to us, chapter 4 and chapter 5. Parts of our liturgy and many of our hymns come from chapter 4. Even more come from chapter 5. I tried to look at how many hymns uh, make reference to chapter 5 of Revelation. And I looked in the LBW and officially there are 13 hymns. But when I did a search online, I found out that there are several dozen, two or three dozen hymns in our hymnal alone that make reference to Revelation chapter five. A large portion of our hymns come at least in part from this one chapter of the book of Revelation. And our Sunday liturgy um, is no exception and so, for instance, you're familiar with the Gloria that we sing. Glory to God in the highest and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you. We give you thanks. We praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only son of the Father. And then listen, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer, for you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You are alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the unity of God the Father, in the glory of God the Father, now and forever. Amen. And then you're probably familiar with what we call the Lamb of God. And we sing this um, right before we take communion every week. 
This is a quote from John chapter 1, verse 29, but it also makes reference to the Lamb. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. And so the same Lamb of God spoken of in chapter 1 of John is the same Lamb of God who is before the throne of God. And that is who we pray to when we worship. But most of all, the hymn called This is the Feast is the, um, the best example of how Revelation chapter 5 is used in our worship. Listen to this. This is the feast of victory for our God. Hallelujah. Worthy is Christ, the Lamb who was slain, whose blood set us free to be people of God. Power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor and blessing and glory are his. This is the feast of victory for our God. Hallelujah. Sing with all the people of God and join in the hymn of all creation. Blessing, honor, glory, and might be to God and the Lamb forever. Amen. This is the feast of victory for our God. Hallelujah. For the Lamb who was slain has begun his reign. Hallelujah. So that hymn that we are so familiar with comes right out of the book of Revelation. The Lamb who was slain has begun his reign. Hallelujah. The hymn we're using now, now the feast in celebration, also uses those words from Revelation. Blessing, honor, glory, and power to the lamb who was slain. And so once again, uh, we shouldn't be so intimidated by the book of Revelation because so much of our worship and so many of our hymns borrow the language of that heavenly worship that we hear about there. And so it's really a part of what we do in worship week in and week out. Let us pray. We thank you, Heavenly Father, that your son, Jesus Christ, the lamb who was slain, is worthy to open the seven seals and reveal the final judgment on the whole earth that you have made. We also thank you, God, that you have made us worthy by the blood of Christ to sing your praises as well and to join with all of the angels and the elders and the creatures and all of creation in praising and worshiping you, the Holy Father, and Christ the Lamb, in the unity of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for being with me today, and tomorrow we'll continue to look at Revelation chapter 5. God bless you on your journey.